At UAB, the head neck robotics program started with tumor work and tumors in the uh, oropharynx, hypopharynx, larynx, voice box area, and that continues to be the main uh, focus of what we've done. We've also done some work w uh, in the neck itself, uh, thyroid surgery, that sort of thing. And then one of the newer areas that we're using it for is uh, sleep apnea surgery and also airway uh, reconstruction. The program at UAB started early on and is one of the busiest in the country. We're one of the major three centers in the United States that were doing this early on. When uh, robotic surgery was approved for the head and neck, the FDA used UAB's uh, data to approve the procedure in the United States. The magnification is adjustable and it, it can go from uh, just a little bit more than what you would see with your human eye up to very, uh, very high power, almost like working through a microscope. So the magnification is helpful. The illumination is helpful. The lighting is, is really quite good. The depth perception, the three-dimensional ability to, th to see in three dimensions is really helpful as well. There's definitely an appearance advantage there. Uh, when the tumors can be taken out, for instance, through the mouth rather than through the neck or whatever, uh, there often is an appearance advantage, but probably even more uh, importantly for our patients there's a functional advantage uh, because with being able to do this by a minimally invasive approach there's less collateral damage to normal structures. Things just work better afterwards and the patients recover more quickly and uh, less time in the hospital. It's a good feeling when the patients get rid of their problem and when they have less side effects and quicker recovery and their function is better that's that's what we all want.